got hormones. Over my life, I have done my best to make sure my children got the calcium and dairy products they needed. Spooning yogurt into them for breakfast, peeling off wrappers of string cheese, and letting them indulge in the frequent drippy ice cream cone. But while researching our family food products, I came across a startling fact. Dairy farmers were injecting genetically engineered bovine growth hormones, RBGH or RBST, into cows to increase lactation. I was more upset to learn that the FDA approved of the use of these growth hormones in 1993 and without asking me how I felt about it. It also wasn't just the milk that was affected, but all products containing milk. Now granted, at the time, I was a full-fledged fan of the low-fat and non-fat craze, and I wouldn't touch milk or ranch dressing for that matter. But RBGH stimulates and increases lactation, which means a higher yield for dairy farmers. A higher yield means more money for the farmer and potential for cheaper milk. Who hasn't complained about paying almost four bucks for a gallon of cow juice? Using hormones means more milk at cheaper prices. It all sounds very win-win, doesn't it? Mama cows may find this to be one situation worth crying over spilled milk. That's because cows, given RBGH, experience higher rates of mastitis, a painful udder infection. I certainly can't relate to having an udder infection, but I have dealt with my share of swollen, infected, lactating boobs from nursing, of course. The fever and flu-like symptoms from a localized mastitis infection relegated me to a weekend on the couch on more than one occasion. Any woman who has ever experienced this knows her breasts are so sore and tender she doesn't even want people in the same room with her for fear that they may accidentally brush against her inflamed chest, sending her into fits of swearing and tears. I have half the number of teats as a mama cow. If one infection is horribly painful, what must having three or four feel like? Now, I would certainly have been swayed to modify my purchasing habits by simply hearing that giving cows growth hormones increases pus from infected udders. Naysayers might point out that I am not a cow and cannot know how a cow feels. But I assume they aren't cows either. I appreciate the vote of confidence that I am not a bovine. But as a sister lactating mammal, I can empathize. Surprisingly, that isn't the controversial side effect. Jeffrey Smith, an expert in this area, shared more lessons about dairy products. Milk from RBGH-treated cows has a much higher level of IGF-1. What is IGF-1? I hadn't heard of this. It is a natural occurring hormone in cows as well as humans. However, higher levels of this hormone have been linked to an increased risk of breast cancer and other cancers. IGF-1 levels in milk from cows treated with RBGH can be up to 10 times higher. That sounds pretty academic to me, but this next piece I can understand. Many other industrialized countries, including Japan, Australia, New Zealand, and Canada, have banned the use of bovine growth hormones due to health risks to humans and harm to animals. Even to the point that RBGH dairy products from America are not welcome or accepted in the European Union and Canada. I'm feeling a little grass is always greener jealousy here. Maybe it shouldn't be accepted in my home either. The good news, of course, is that there are choices. When I started to look, I could easily find milk and some milk products at the grocery store labeled RBGH free or RBST free or no hormones added. Enter my happy dance. 
By choosing the next level of milk, USDA Organic, I was able to offer products to my family that did not contain growth hormones and had strict guidelines as to how the cow was raised and fed. An added bonus to my organic milk choice was that recent reports stated organic milk contained 70% more omega-3 fatty acids and 50% more vitamin E than regular milk. The best news of all was that I found healthy milk options without having to build a barn. My husband was utterly thrilled. You can learn more about Christy Marsh at her website, choosewiser.com. Mm-hmm.